In this video, I'll show you how to set up a simple bot that automates your internal knowledge management. The first thing we need to do is identify which kinds of questions we want our users to be able to ask. For this example, I'm going to give my user three simple categories. So, in a single choice card, I'll just make sure to ask them something like, what's your question about today? Now, I'll click Advanced Configuration and add a couple of choices in. So in this example, I'm going to let them ask questions about things like finance, employee benefits, and human resources. But you can add however many categories make sense for you. Now that we've identified what kinds of questions our users can ask, I'm going to go ahead and create a workflow for each of these categories. So using the workflow option, I'm going to create a workflow for finance, I'll create one for employee benefits, and I'll also create one for human resources. Now back in our main workflow, what I want to happen is that whenever my user selects one of these options, they get sent down the correct workflow. So by taking this little circle over here, I'm going to drag it and I'll execute the corresponding workflow. So I'll do that for finance, I'll do the same thing for employee benefits, and I'll finally do the same thing for human resources. Now let's go ahead and zoom out and see what that looks like. So we can see here, I've got three options and they get sent down the corresponding workflow whenever they choose one of those options. Now let's go ahead and edit some of those workflows. Let's take the finance one as our first example. Once our user enters this workflow, I want them to be able to ask a question about something finance related. To do this, I'll use a raw input card and I'll place that in the node here. I'll just ask them something simple like, what do you want to know? And I'll make sure that knowledge answering is enabled on this node. Nice. Now that I've added this question card to each of these workflows, I need to actually include some of the information that my bot will be using to provide answers. To do this, I'm going to upload a knowledge base using the add knowledge base button. And I'm going to go ahead and do this three times, one for each of these categories. This time, I'm going to upload policies related to finance. For a new knowledge base source, I'll select documents and I'll add the relevant document here. In this case, I'm using a PDF file. I'll go ahead and upload it and I'll give it a sec while that uploads. Now what's going to happen is whenever my users ask questions, it's going to pull from this knowledge base. Now that I've uploaded knowledge bases for each of these categories, I want to make sure that my bot limits its answers to its respective knowledge base so that when my user asks a question about finance, they're not going to get an answer from the human resources document. Let me show you how to do this. To do this, we'll use a folder for each category. So I'm going to go ahead and label this one finance and I'll place the finance workflow inside it as well as the finance knowledge base. Now these two are linked together, but they'll be inaccessible from any other workflow. Nice. Now that we've put everything together, let's test it out. So in the emulator, I'm going to say hi, and I'm going to say that I have a question about finance. Now we see I'm in the correct workflow, and let's see if it can answer our question. Now I'll just say something like, where can I find my pay slips? which is a piece of information that's hidden in that PDF folder. We can see the answer was found in our knowledge base and our bot was able to provide the correct answer. Pretty cool, happy bot building.